I am PK Sajidharan. My study is on a new criteria to diagnose SLE, especially when it presents as a hematological disorder. SLE is an autoimmune disorder and it is considered as a rheumatologic disorder. But our observations have proven that hematological manifestations are the commonest initial presentation and these observations were documented in a study which was published in 2012. Why a new criteria became essential? Hematological manifestations are not given proper representation in the ACR criteria. It may take several years to satisfy the ACR criteria. Relying on ACR criteria leads to a delay in diagnosis. Thus, there is a need for an alternate criteria, especially for diagnosis when patients present with hematological manifestations. The Coricor criteria uses simple and easily available clinical and laboratory parameters which are present at the initial presentation itself making the diagnosis a lot more easier. Coming to the criteria, there are two major criteria. First is presence of one autoimmune disorder not to occur with SLE. Second is know the cause for the identified clinical problem other than autoimmunity by history, physical examination and investigations. There are four minor criteria, another coexisting autoimmune disorder, positive ANA, positive anti-DS DNA and sustained and definitive response to immunosuppressive agents. The first two are essential and if the patient has two or more of the minor criteria, they can be diagnosed as SLE. The present study was an attempt to validate the new criteria. Altogether, we had 71 patients during a period of one year, 40 old cases and 31 newly diagnosed cases. Both ACR criteria and code code criteria were applied to all the diagnosed cases. 63% of them could be diagnosed only with code code criteria. 31% only were found to be satisfying both criteria or in other words, they could be diagnosed with both criteria. But there was no patient who satisfied ACR criteria alone. Therefore, 94% of them could be diagnosed with code code criteria. Among the old cases who were under follow-up, there were 16 patients who had satisfied the code code criteria at the initial presentation itself. But they could satisfy the ACR criteria during long periods of follow-up. The time taken for that ranged from 4 months to 144 months. Therefore, the study has clearly documented that the code code criteria is good for early diagnosis of SLE and it can avoid delay in diagnosis and the patients will get proper and prompt treatment. The comparison between these two criteria will be discussed in the article.